Hey, today I'm going to take you through on how we can remotely control the Raspberry Pi using SSH. Now I am using Raspbian, if you need to install it, check out my guide on how to do this. Firstly, we need to make sure that SSH is activated on the Pi. After this, we will no longer need to have a keyboard, mouse or even a monitor connected, just an active network connection. So on the Pi, let's get the IP address by typing hostname dash capital I. Now if you have an active network connection, this should give you an IP address. Now let's activate SSH by typing sudo raspy config. Now go down to advanced options and in here select SSH and enable it. And that's all we need to do, so you can get rid of the keyboard, monitor and mouse if you want. Now we can go to our PC and connect. Now for Windows D we need to download PuTTY, so head over to PyMyLifeUp.com. Go down to Guides and select the SSH guide. Now simply just scroll down to the PuTTY link and then download the PuTTY.exe file. Once it has downloaded, just open it up. Now enter the IP address we got earlier, so in my case it's 192.168.1.103 and the default port 22 will work just fine. Now just simply log in and we now have full control over the Pi. You may get a security warning when first doing this, just click yes to proceed. You, you won't have to do this again. Now for a Mac, connecting is dead easy. Now just head up to go and then select Utilities, and in here open up Terminal. Now in here just type SSH Pi at, and then your IP address. In my case it's 192.168.1.103. And you can also change Pi to whatever user you want to log in to. Now just type your password in and you're good to go. Again, this might come up with a security warning when you first try to sign in. Just say yes to this and you shouldn't see it again. Looking for something new to do? Check out these awesome 21 Raspberry Pi projects that anyone can do. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest projects, guides and much more.